Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Air Holler with me and Heard 37 So in our last flight, uh, we were up in Bozeman, and we flew down to uh, Denver. Not the uh, big Denver, but a, a different one. That uh, KBJC, I can't remember the name of that place, what was it? Jeffco, that's right, Jeffco. But now we're over in the big Denver, Denver, Denver International, and we have uh, that flight uh, going to LAX. It's not too long, only 747 miles, and it pays over $1.1 million. So I really wanted to do that job, and uh, we're going to do it. I think I've already got it loaded up here. Our FedEx plane. Yeah, I've got everything loaded up. I put a little fuel in it. Uh, so we've got more than enough to do this flight. So go over ahead, day flight, and uh, got to go over probably to the cargo area. I guess that's the only cargo area. Uh, cargo. I know they've got one special place, and that's where we usually end up. So uh, let's go ahead and move on over to the plane. All right, everybody. Here we are at the plane. Good look outside. Uh, I'm not using. I have that, uh, of course, Denver International by Imagine Sim, and quite honestly, I do not like it. It's one of their old ones, and uh, to me, it's just kind of worthless. Wow, that is an old school UPS plane. <laughs> Seeing that UPS delivery, I don't. Man, that is old. All right, let's go down here to our FMC and check some things out. Should we have the parking brake on? That's not what we need. FS actions. Uh, we should. It loads it up. I think. Do believe correctly. Seven. Yeah, 108 for the cargo. Just make sure. Yep, that looks good. All right. All right, we're at Denver, K-D-E-N. Don't know the gate, so I'm not gonna worry about that. And it's K-D-E-N to Los Angeles International is K-L-A-X. Put that company route. Go ahead and activate and execute that. Departures and arrivals. We're gonna be taking off on runway eight. And our SID is Connor. Three. All right, no transition. Execute. And our arrival, we're going to be landing on six right. And our star is R die. Is it R die two? Yeah, R die two. Transition at H E C. So get that. Get our zero fuel weight. Uh, five in the reserves. Request that. Alright, it'll be 85. That's our company. This one we always use. There we go. 38,000. We keep going to 37, 38,000 feet. Every time. Um, we're not going to do a D rated takeoff. Flaps 15. Trim 2.5. Here's our V speeds. Let's set up our trim real quick. Wrong way. 2.5. There we go. 2.5. Uh, V2 speed is 146. There we go. 38,000 feet, I'll go ahead and set it. There we go. Let's go over to our approach speed. There's 139. Where the legs make sure everything is good. All right, no more discontinuities. Six right at 170, 170. We gotta lower that. I'll lower that to 200. I'll probably lower this one to. Well, I'll leave it there at 240 actually. All right. 
Let's go up here to the top, turn off these fuel pumps, put the beacon nav on. All right, parking brake is off. Let's start our pushback. We're going to taxi out six riders over here. It is a freaking huge, huge airport. It's one thing I really don't like about Denver. I'll set our heading here in a minute. The runway heading. Ooh, yeah, 083. Well, that was weird. It started to turn, then it feels like it's going straight again. Glad we don't have that uh, pageant sim. There's like a hole over here somewhere that you keep falling into. So we have problems every single freaking time. Go ahead and put the brakes in RTO. I'll turn on the flight directors from LNAV and VNAV. And I'll set the flaps to 15. Alright, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and cut it here. I'm not going to show the taxi because the the runway is way over here. It's a very long taxi. Uh, it's boring. <laughs> There's nothing here. So I'll go ahead and cut it here, everybody. And I'll uh, resume uh, when we're over at the runway. Alright, everybody. That taxi is over. We're basically at the other end of the airport. So I didn't want to show all that. Lightning lights on, taxi light on. Oh, well, that gone it. I had to strip the taxi light off. I always got to forget something. Strobe is on. Brakes are in RTO. Flaps are at 15. So we're pretty much ready to go. We'll just do a rolling takeoff. I've never taken off on the, these runways. We're always going the other way. It was on the north and south. People are still landing um, north and south, but for some reason the, the weather showed it uh, wind go, uh, to the west, so I don't know. They'll probably say it was wrong, but whatever. On runway, zero, eight. I'm getting lined up here. And I just lined up and went way too far. Alright, here we go. Toga. Should be up pretty quickly. We're light again. You know, this plane has so much power. V1, rotate. V2. Alright. Flaps to five. Flaps to one. I want to see our range, because I, I don't see us turning around. I'm going to put this over vectors. That's a problem. Oh, crap. Yeah, see if we need to turn. I didn't notice the vectors, so I'll put it in autopilot. Our speed is coming down bad. I'm going to take over and put our nose down. Alright. I didn't notice the vectors. The vectors were just. We weren't going to be turning or anything. Because obviously we're not using ATC. They give us the vectors. Put autopilot back on. Alright, coming up on 10,000 feet. Descent or descent is slowing down. Or 
we're speeding this catchment back up. Flaps up at 10,000, we'll turn the landing lights off. There's Denver. Nice airport, it's just it's too freaking spread out for my own liking. Just set up. All right. So we're well on our way to 38,000 feet. Let's see about how long it's going to take. Bring this up. Progress. So 2045, so less than two hours, actually. All right. So it all looks good. I just remember the text. I haven't turned that off, too. Let's go ahead and uh, I'll speed it up and be back in just a little bit.
All right, everybody, I just slowed it down. See, the frame rate is actually kind of crappy, especially when we get turned around and back to LA. Let's check our landing speed. All right, so it's down to 137. Where is our runway? There it is. 137. And then 137 before that as well. And that needs to be, I'm going to put that at 165. That could actually be a little quick anyway. Quick as well. I don't know that we can slow that down quick enough. Probably won't let me, will it? I'm going to have to put the altitude 5286. All right. I might have to do an auto land because it's uh, stuttering so bad. I don't know that I'll be, well, 19. If, it, if that keeps up, I'll be able to. But I'm scared that uh, I could actually screw some, screw the plane up with this jagged. I, I think LA is actually worse, uh, harder on the, uh, with the scenery than New York is. I have to have a couple add-ons for New York and it actually runs fairly well with some of them. It's got New York airports, which I think is, uh, is that the one from Juwiki's Design or whatever? There's one that's quite hard, and then uh, there's another one I think by Aerosoft that actually runs pretty well. But this Los Angeles by itself is just hard as hell on the computer. I have US Cities X Los Angeles, and I don't even have that installed because I knew that something like this would happen. And the scenery is just uh, a dense for both, so kind of surprised it's not doing all that well We're about 10 miles out from that waypoint so I'll go ahead and speed it up I hope it drops down here we got uh, 200 so we got 10 miles to get down 40 knots man I totally screwed up when I, we took off too I didn't have the weather going, and by the way, now it, it shows that the weather is, I don't know, apparently going the other way, so that's, that's great. You would think that it would come this way, but uh, I don't know. Usually the wind is coming from the ocean onto the land, but whatever. 
flight swim commander did not have it to go that way. And I didn't have the weather started at Denver. I forgot to restart it. And I didn't realize I hadn't uh, gotten the freaking gear up. Flaps to one. So our takeoff was absolutely horrid. And then of course the mistake with the uh, vectors. That wasn't good. All right, time to put this thing back in the normal rate. And with all the clouds, it doesn't help the frame rate at all. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put the Flaps to 5, it may need it because we have to drop down to, was that 165? Yeah, it needs it. Speed brakes, uh, speed brake is armed, auto brakes are at 2. Speed's coming down. I'm not sure why the engines are spooling up, we need to be at 165 and 9 miles. I know it's trying to keep the speed there. I'm not totally sure why. Actually, it's speeding up. I don't know, that's one thing I worry about the speed with this plane, but it has actually been working out fairly well uh, in air hauler. I know before I was flying it before that, uh, I did have some problems, but it's been pretty good. I really don't understand why it doesn't set the speed when we do our approach speed, like it does in uh, the 747 MD-11. I'm not sure why that, that that's not happening. Just have to make sure and catch that. See the frame rate at 25, but I'm afraid when we start looking uh, at land, it's going to drop down. The weather went away, I'm not sure why. That could actually be beneficial since we're not going with the wind. Alright, five miles and we need to be at 165. There, it just went down. It might ask us for our help. We'll go ahead and put the flaps to 15. It needs to be at 165. Actually, that didn't drop it to 165. There, it just went. Okay, so then we got Guppy, and then we turn to the runway. Right there. Runway heading 070. All right. She's jagged. And a 19. There's land. That's one reason I don't really like flying to LAX, man. It's just difficult. I remember the worst ever. I was actually flying to New York, uh, JFK. I, I think I'd just gotten the Dash 8 right when it came out and I had that old computer. And I was landing there at night. It was like three frames a second. I've never seen anything that low. It made it almost impossible to land. It won't be this that bad, but I don't know. Definitely wish it was a little better. Alright, so we need to be at 137. I'm going to put the flaps to 20. Alright, we're heading right for the runway. Four miles to Gubby. Kind of surprised that speed isn't coming down. Alright, come 
coming up on 2,800 feet. Three miles to get me there, it's starting to drop down. Traffic, traffic. Great. It's behind us. Hopefully, we, oh no, it's right in front of us actually. I thought it was behind us. 2,500. Please do not be going to six or eight. I really don't want to have to go around. Oh my God, he's below us actually. I know we're going slow because I put it 137 at Guppy as well, but that gone. Dropping the gear. I didn't choose the altitude, so I'm surprised he's so much lower than us. Hopefully he's going to six left. We're about on the same altitude now. Huh? Oh, well, that's great with our speed. The, the freaking wind weather just kicked back on. Unbelievable. Flaps to 25. We're about lower than him now. Although, that, what the hell just happened? Should have already had the localizer arm. Traffic. Traffic. Flaps to 30. Man, the wind is kicking us around. What do you say we auto land right next to this guy? Maintain vertical speed. Maintain. One thousand. Auto land didn't work last time. Let's see if it works again. This stupid weather. It's not even supposed to be running under two thousand feet. Updating it so unbelievable. We're slightly high now. All right, coming back up on it. How are you supposed to land in that kind of a condition? Although they're landing with the wind too. Just gotta remember, last time we tried auto land and it did not work, so it's be ready this time. Terrain, terrain. Unbelievable. It thinks it doesn't know it's on the ground. Well, that's a bunch of BS. That is an absolute bunch of BS. The ground came up and nailed us again, just like it did in Italy. Unreal. I get real sick and tired of that kind of crap. And now it, it dinged up our plane. A million dollar run, and it goes and does that at the end. Unbelievable. Unfreaking believable. We'll track the flaps. Can't believe it did that. Actually, I can't believe it did that. It's one of the problems. Should have taken that last taxiway because I I want to. You saw when we came in. You saw when we came in. There were some planes over that looked like a cargo area. That could be a cargo area right there. We can just park right there. That's unbelievable BS, man. Unbel freaking believable. That guy's actually taxiing over here. That was one of the guys I was looking at. Landing lights off, strobe off. It's unbelievable. Light directors are off. Auto brake. There you go. Who even knows how much damage that did? It said moderate. It was coming in so nice. Getting ready to flare and then bam. Wonder how the American Airlines landed over there. Maybe we'll see it in the replay. Guess he was landing. What else how else would he be what do you have been doing? Alright. 
Oh, I, I was on the brakes too much. That's gonna be a terrible turn. Actually, not that bad. Ooh, overshooting it. All right, man, that it's really annoying. That really sucks. Cut the fuel. All right, let's go on over air holler and see what happened. All right, as you can see, ten percent damage. I'm surprised it wasn't worse than that. That was no doing of mine. <laughs> Literally, I didn't have anything to do with that. Is your auto landing as well? I just wish that kind of crap wouldn't happen. It's like we just dropped it the last second. Do you know that did all kinds of damage? 10% money-wise is going to be a lot. That, man, that really sucks. It's so irritating. Let's see how much it... Oh, really? 2.8? That's it? That's not actually that bad. I would have thought it was a hell of a lot worse than that. Let's just go ahead and pay it. Unreal. We need to get to Los Angeles, or to Los Angeles. We need to get to Bozeman. So I wanted to do that long, long flight. I think I'll have time to do it. I still got uh, over 30 hours is what's due. All right. Actually, that was almost pointless to do. Actually, I wouldn't do that at all because it only pays 330 bucks. Why? Why do? You, why even? Risk it with a fragile cargo. Although I don't think we would have a problem. 2,500 foot runway, that's nice. Alright, so we may do that. Uh, I just gotta, because I gotta get to Bozeman now. I doubt there's anything close to Bozeman. To at least absorb some of the cost of getting there. Stockton. Could actually work, or I could just fly straight there. I'm not sure what I'll do, but uh, well, that's gonna be it for this episode, everybody. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll catch you on the next flight.